Well, our back to school coverage continues today as thousands of New Mexico State University students make their return to campus. Masks and vaccine mandates are in place, but at least in person class is happening. Good morning, El Paso's Brianna Chavez joins us live from Las Cruces with a look at the new normal. Good morning. Hillary, good morning. Well, President John Floros tells me that he is excited to welcome back more than 14,000 students to the campus. Some students have already made their return. They've already moved into their dorms, but today is officially the first day of the fall semester. Now, masks will be required inside all campus buildings. Proof of vaccination will also be required for students and staff. Those who choose not to get vaccinated will have to get tested for COVID-19 weekly. And NMSU has a health and wellness center on campus that provides both vaccinations and tests. Daily sanitation of the buildings will continue as well as distancing in the classroom when possible. And they even have outdoor classrooms, which are tents that will be available for teachers to use throughout the semester when they'd like. Now, Floro says he's confident that the university will be able to provide a safe environment for the NMSU community. For the last almost two years now, we have learned a lot of lessons. We have learned how to live with a, with a virus. And I think we can do this without, you know, going back to completely online. I think we can have our students here. I think we can have the face-to-face -face classes. And I think we can keep everybody safe or at least safer than what they would be otherwise. We've proven that. The community of NMSU. And coming up in our next half hour, we take a closer look at what's new this semester, including the programs that are meant to help students adjust to on-campus life. For now, reporting live from Las Cruces, Brianna Chavez. Good morning, El Paso. Brianna, thanks so much.